I'm mad, Tarissan. I'll not waste time on rhetoric. Defeat me, and take my place as keeper of this world. You saw it awaiting you at the end of your descent. Aye, the same world you've traveled to arrive at this place. A world you may well now inherit. It is a simple proposition, no different than any you faced. You need only the will to claim what is offered you. The will to survive. Yes, fight the risen, as you ever have fought in coming here. What is it that impels you? What force spurs you on? What sustained your wanderings and led you here? I ask you, what is it that makes you alive? Tis volition, unbending will. You are here because you willed it, Arisen. That alone has brought you here. That volition is tempered by the struggle for survival. The decision, just like yours, to fight. Just as the pawns need a master's command, so the world thirsts for the will to live. Let us continue, Arisen. Show that you are more than an empty vessel, animated by forces unseen. Show that the temper of your soul is strong enough to command far more than mere pawns. Show that your will is fit to climb the praying circle of this world and hold it fast. Fight tooth and claw. Struggle now and cling to life. Show that living holds worth enough to fight for. It is time to decide. Will you claim your right as a risen? Or shrug the burden and seek peace in oblivion? Just so. One foot after the next, come what may. That is what it means to live. Turn back now and I will grant you a merciful death. The choice is yours arisen. Yours alone. Tis a simple choice arisen. Step forward or retreat. Accept the quiet emptiness of a false peace, a false life. Why not put an end to it? Praises of the quiet life are sung far too infrequent. <coughs> That's a mite harsh, eh? Ever to the one you. You're not without a home to return to. Why? What is he trying to say? Why is this hesitation, sir? You've ought to protect, do you not? This is your... I would beg you rest a while, but just as like you would turn a deaf ear. Instead, I ask only that you keep us in mind now and again. <laughs> You seem to ever like to leave for somewhere I could not follow. What I asked was to stop. We had the sight of those I love. All I ever Close now. 
so very close to me. Come, Rosie. I shall meet you on your own terms, joined by my own companions at home. You stand now at its end, Arisen. See your journey through. My heart grows cold. The girl shivers for it. No this is world is justice. Cold and empty for all its beauty. Arisen, forgive me. All I've done is to test your will. It is the fate of all arisen. You and I swept up in the current, same as the rest. Each tempers the volition of the next, and the endless cycle continues. And so, until the coming of a new soul fit to craft the will to live, someone like you. Until that day, may you guide the world ever justly. I present you the God's Bane Blade. Those who arise to oversee this world are undying, save by this brand's kiss. I ask that you, as the world's new solution, use it now to vouchsafe freedom to your weary servant. New crown sovereign and keeper of eternity. Grant me now this single boon. The fire of my life is spent in guttering. Give me freedom with the kiss of the God's pain blade. If there is aught you wish to know before my death, you need but ask. My knowledge as my own is yours to take. What blood? There is life in the world and with it death. Not lasts forever. Each rises and falls in its time. But such is a death akin to that of Pons. They appear in this world and vanish, only to appear again, like bubbles in a mountain spring. As so it is with all that lives within this eternal world. In time, you will come to see it happen under your watch, the Seneschal. Each beast, each blade of grass, each human life is born to die and be born again in endless rhythm. Not lasts forever. Yet all persists unto eternity. New crown sovereign. If there is aught you wish. <coughs> Mourn me not. For I welcome the release. At long last, I am free of eternity. Of infinity. Free of the cruel, unending ring. 